The atmosphere was electric. Gainbridge Fieldhouse was packed to the brim with fans, their excitement palpable in the air. The energy was infectious, spreading like wildfire through the stands. Fans were ready for a WNBA showdown, eagerly anticipating the clash between two formidable teams. The air buzzed with conversations about strategies, player stats, and predictions for the night's outcome. The Indiana Fever were hosting the Phoenix Mercury, a matchup that promised intense competition and high stakes. Both teams had been preparing rigorously, knowing the significance of this game. All eyes, however, were on one player, Caitlin Clark. The young rookie had quickly become the talk of the league, her performances drawing comparisons to some of the greatest in the sport. The rookie sensation was coming off an incredible week, her skills and determination shining through in every game. She had captivated fans and analysts alike with her prowess on the court. She had just been named Player of the Week, a testament to her hard work and exceptional talent. This accolade only added to the anticipation surrounding her performance tonight. Anticipation hung in the air, a mix of excitement and nervous energy. Fans knew they were about to witness something special, a game that could go down in history. This was more than just a game. It was a chance to witness greatness, to see a rising star in action. The stakes were high, and everyone in the arena could feel it. It was a chance to witness greatness. Clark didn't disappoint. From the moment she stepped onto the court, she commanded attention, her every move calculated and precise. From the opening tip-off, she was in control. Her energy was contagious, igniting her teammates in the crowd. Every dribble, every pass, every shot was executed with confidence and skill. The crowd roared with every basket, their cheers echoing through the arena. The atmosphere was electric, each play adding to the excitement and intensity of the game. The fever fed off the energy, their performance elevated by the support of their fans. They played with a renewed vigor, determined to secure a victory. They were ready to battle, their focus unwavering. Every player knew their role, and they executed their game plan with precision and determination. The Mercury, on the other hand, looked weary. The Olympic break seemed to have taken its toll, their usual sharpness and energy noticeably lacking. The Olympic break seemed to have taken its toll. Despite their best efforts, they struggled to keep up with the Fever's relentless pace and intensity. This game was set to be a clash of momentum, a test of endurance and skill. Both teams fought hard, but it was clear that the Fever, fueled by their fans and the brilliance of Caitlin Clark, had the upper hand. Caitlin Clark was unstoppable. From the moment she stepped onto the court, it was clear that she was in a league of her own. Her energy was palpable, and her determination was evident in every move she made. She danced through the Mercury's defense with an elegance and precision that left everyone in awe. Her footwork was impeccable, and her ability to read the game was second to none. Her shots were falling from everywhere. Whether it was a deep three-pointer or a mid-range jumper, she made it look easy. Her shooting form was flawless, and her confidence was unshakable. She finished the game with 29 points, a testament to her scoring prowess. Each point was a result of her hard work and dedication, and it showed on the scoreboard. Her passing was equally impressive, dishing out six assists. She had a vision on the court that allowed her to find her teammates in the perfect position to score. Clark wasn't just scoring, she was orchestrating. She directed her team with the poise of a seasoned veteran, making sure everyone was in the right place at the right time. She created opportunities for her teammates, setting them up for easy baskets. Her unselfish play made everyone around her better. The fever offense flowed through her. Every play seemed to start and end with her, showcasing her importance to the team. It wasn't just her stats that stood out. It was the way she carried herself on the court. Her leadership and presence were undeniable. It was her confidence and flair that truly set her apart. She played with a swagger that was both captivating and intimidating to her opponents. She played with a joy that was infectious. Her love for the game was evident in every smile, every laugh, and every celebration. She made the game look effortless. Her smooth moves and natural talent were a sight to behold. This was a performance for the highlight reels. Every play was a potential highlight, and she delivered time and time again. The crowd chanted her name, fully aware that they were witnessing something special. The energy in the arena was electric. Clark was putting on a show, 
Every dribble, every pass, and every shot was executed with precision and flair. She was cementing her place as a WNBA superstar. Her performance was a clear indication that she was destined for greatness, and the world was taking notice. The Phoenix Mercury looked out of sync. The Olympic break seemed to have disrupted their rhythm. Diana Taurasi, usually a dominant force, struggled to find her shot. Fatigue was evident in their play. The Mercury's usually tight defense looked porous. The absence of Brittany Griner continued to be felt. Her absence left a void in the paint. The Mercury struggled to contain the Fever's inside game. Rebounding was a challenge. Turnovers plagued them. It was clear, the Mercury were not at their best. The Fever capitalized on their opponent's struggles. The game was chippy from the start. The rivalry between Clark and Teresi was palpable. Both players are known for their competitive fire. They exchanged words after a hard foul. The crowd loved it. This was the kind of intensity that makes sports great. The tension wasn't limited to Clark and Teresi. Both teams played with an edge. Every possession was a battle. Fouls were called on both sides. Technical fouls were handed out. This game had it all, skill, passion, and drama. Section 5. Voices from the Game In the world of basketball, the voices from the game echo far beyond the court. They tell stories of triumph, struggle, and the relentless pursuit of greatness. She's a special talent, said Mercury coach Vanessa Nygaard about Clark after the game. Her words carried the weight of experience and admiration, highlighting the exceptional skills that Clark brings to the game. She can score in bunches and make her teammates better. It's not just about her individual talent, but how she elevates the entire team. Her presence on the court is transformative, creating opportunities and inspiring confidence in her teammates. We didn't have an answer for her tonight. The frustration was evident, but so was the respect. It's a testament to Clark's impact that even seasoned coaches find themselves searching for solutions. Caitlin Clark, when asked about the rivalry with Torresi, simply smiled. Her smile spoke volumes, reflecting both her respect for the legend and her own confidence. Diana is a legend, she said. Her words were simple but powerful, acknowledging the greatness of Tarasi while also hinting at her own aspirations. I have a lot of respect for her. In the world of sports, respect is earned through hard work, dedication, and performance. Clark's respect for Tarasi is a reflection of the high standards she sets for herself. But on the court, it's all about competition. The respect was there. But so was the burning desire to win. Every dribble, every pass, every shot was a testament to their competitive spirit. But so was the burning desire to win. The intensity of the game was palpable, with each player pushing themselves to the limit, driven by the desire to come out on top. This was more than just a regular season game. The atmosphere was electric, the stakes high, Fans could feel the tension and excitement, knowing they were witnessing something special. This was a clash of styles. Each team brought their unique approach to the game, creating a dynamic and unpredictable contest. It was a showcase of the diversity and richness of basketball. It was a passing of the torch. The game symbolized the transition from one generation to the next, with veterans and rookies sharing the court, learning from each other, and pushing the boundaries of the sport. Section 6. Mitchell and Boston Shine Caitlin Clark wasn't the only star shining for the fever. Kelsey Mitchell had a standout performance, scoring 21 points. Her speed and agility were on full display. She was a constant threat in transition. Aaliyah Boston continued to impress in her rookie season. She recorded a double-double with 12 points and 10 rebounds. She was a force in the paint, altering shots and grabbing crucial rebounds. The Fever's future looked bright with this young core. Section 7. A Fight to the Finish The Mercury did not go down without a fight. They mounted a comeback attempt in the third quarter, fueled by Skylar Diggins-Smith's scoring. Diana Taurasi found her rhythm, knocking down some tough shots. The Mercury cut the lead to single digits. However, the Fever weathered the storm. They maintained their composure. Caitlin Clark took over in the fourth quarter, silencing any hopes of a Mercury comeback. The Fever secured a hard-fought victory. 
Section 8. Stars Align in Indianapolis The game was not just about the action on the court, it was also a celebration of the WNBA. The league announced the All-Star starters during halftime. Caitlin Clark, to no one's surprise, was among the selected few. WNBA legend Tamika Catchings addressed the crowd, emphasizing the importance of supporting women's basketball. Her presence added to the already electric atmosphere. Section 9. A Night to Remember Jim Morris The Fever dedicated the game to the memory of Jim Morris, the team's longtime radio voice who recently passed away. A touching tribute played during a timeout, highlighting Morris's passion for the team and the game. The sellout crowd stood in applause, their cheers echoing through the arena. It was a reminder that some things are bigger than basketball. It was a night of mixed emotions, the joy of victory, the sadness of loss, and the unwavering spirit of community. Section 10. A Glimpse of the Future The Fever's victory over the Mercury was more than just a regular season win. It was a statement. Caitlin Clark had arrived. She had announced her presence as a force to be reckoned with. The Fever, with their young core, were on the rise. This game was a glimpse of the future of the WNBA, a future filled with excitement, energy, and incredible talent. It was a night to remember in Indianapolis, 